Hey there, gang. We're here with Scott Blackwell, uh, founder of Immaculate Banking Company. And uh, what's going on, Scott? What's going on with Immaculate these days? Well, we got a lot going on, to be honest. We um, several years ago, I thought of an idea that seemed too good to be true, but it was just to uh, take what we were doing in cookies and make it into back into the dough form and let people bake it at home themselves. Um, and then I thought, well, why stop at cookies? Why not do biscuits and scones and uh, all that low carb? All, all that low carb. Exactly. Well, Atkins was over. We were done. You know, it was time to do something more fun. Let's face it. You know, we need those uh, those little treats. Um, and we have uh, been really successful with, uh, with uh, I think, parents who are looking for really great things for their kids. Uh, thinking about, you know, we went through the 50s and 60s and 70s and processed food became bigger and bigger and bigger. You're, Scott, you're dating yourself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, and, and so I looked at that and I, and I think like me, like me, looking, you know, other people were looking at that and going, you know, I think we can do better. Why do we have to put all this stuff in there when I wouldn't cook that way at home? I don't even know what these things are in these products that I'm reading about. So there again, not rocket science, cookie dough, biscuits, things like that, but the rocket science part was just cleaning it up, making it a good, healthy product. So we were, you know, right place, right time, doing the right thing for the right reasons. And doing it very immaculately. <laughs> yes, right, yeah, exactly. So, uh, you know, for the you know, athletes you know, that are watching, you know, playing all sorts of different sports, and even the kids, tell us why we're gonna wanna, you know, consume immaculate products. And, uh, you know, whether it be for the carb value, they're burning calories to do all sorts of things, as well as, you know, bulking up. Sure, yeah, well, I think with uh, athletes especially, I have had a lot of athletes, a lot of cyclists in our area, talking about the cookies and how that's just a nice quick burst of energy and they'll bake a few off and take them with them on a ride or whatever. Um, I think for, for kids, it's a nice, fun, wow, healthy, it's a family product because you've got this coming together, you know, Saturday night, you come in, you pop a movie in, you bake off some fresh cookies, it, the kids feel like they baked it, not, you know, they did it, we didn't do it, we just gave them the tools to do sure. it. So it's just, it really brings people together, I think. Um, plus, you add in things like, you know, make ice cream sandwiches or with the biscuits and scones, you can make strawberry shortcake. I mean, That's cool. really, yeah, it's the expansion of the line has allowed us to, to, uh, to fit in more ways and more places and not just be uh, a dead carb, you know, if you sure, will. Absolutely. Um, and I, I think mean, parents, you know, are quick to read the labels. Mm -hmm. And the packaging is really appealing to kids. They get it a lot of sure. times quicker than the parents do. <laughs> which is That's the, really cool stuff. And, and the one thing that, you know, we've noticed about, uh, you know, Immaculate is the art, the graphics, how, how cool of a brand it is. And, but there's something going on with folk art, isn't there? Kind of an initiative. Yeah. And definitely. I'd like to hear about, you know, about that, that, that. Well, I've been collecting personally folk art for about 25 years. Um, and years ago, I used to uh, just go visit and I started taking things to the artist. I took some plywood or paint or clothing or food or whatever. And every time I'd go, I'd just bring something. Well, I thought, other people say, oh, well, you know, I got some stuff I'd like to send with you or whatever. And I started thinking, you know, maybe there's something here we could be doing because these guys do some wonderful art. They have works in major museums, yet they kind of live in squalor. So that's kind of where the, the foundation, the nonprofit that I started for the art started. We're fast forwarding here through 25 years, but basically started taking a video camera and videoing these guys to capture their spirit, because that was really what, to me, not only, there was a lot more to that art than just the, the painting. Uh, and it was around, you know, kind of a life's experience. And thought if I could capture that on camera, it'd be awesome. Did that, made a full-length documentary, got an NEA grant, being shown on PBS stations, we're do donating it. And that's evolved into art outreach with uh, primarily at-risk youth, where we partner the artists with children we have an educational guide that goes with the documentary. There's a lot of uh, uh, things on our website that you can learn and, you know, kind of fun things you can do, activities with kids around just, you don't have to have all these training and incredible materials. You can take an old, you know, piece of tin and some mud and honey and mix it together and mustard and 
chalk and soot and make a cool piece of art. And so, really I mean, are we going to be able to see some of your art that's made out of, what's <laughs> what's those in, uh, <laughs> tools again? <laughs> well, my, my art is made out of uh, flour, sugar, and butter, you know, those kind of things. <laughs> right. That's my art. Right, uh, right I on. just admire the other yeah, stuff, you know, I'm, I'm a lover. Well, you've done a great it. job, Scott, really. Thanks. So, okay, friends, uh, you're watching ION, and